How can I best protect my kids from gender confusion or even being diagnosed with gender dysphoria? This is a nightmare come true with some states having laws enabling CPS to remove kids from parental custody or secretly undergo gender transition. Okay, so it's highly unlikely that what we're talking about here is one of those very, very rare individuals who from mm -hmm. an early, early age feels this incongruence. Those kids are extremely rare and those kids actually do grow out of it. But there is a lot that parents can do and they can, you know, from an early age, they can remind, they can educate their child that, you know, from the very first moment of your existence on this earth, from your creation, you were a boy or you were a girl and that will never change. You are always going to be a girl or a boy. Um, every part of your body, your heart and your lungs and your skin are all stamped male or female. And there's many different ways of being a boy and a man. There isn't just one way. And all of us are kind of a mixture of more kind of more maybe classical feminine or masculine, however you want to put it. And if you happen to give birth to a boy that is more feminine and likes to play with dolls and isn't into basketball or building Legos or what have you, with the, the, that's going to be just fine for the parents. The parents mm -hmm. can't be going and giving the message to that boy, okay, th that's not for you. What's wrong? Why aren't you more like your brothers? Uh, you know, you're a sissy. Uh, you're gay. What, you know, that's, that's, you don't want to be doing that. You do right. not want to be giving that child any sense that the way that they are is not okay. And you certainly want to instill in your children a sense of the miraculous about their bodies and about how we are made in a miraculous manner. And we have to, uh, ha we have, to have tremendous awe for mother nature for God, for how we're created, not only for our environment, not only is our environment a delicate ecosystem where we can't take our natural resources for granted, like clean water and, you know, having enough energy. We ourselves are delicate ecosystems. And we have to be very careful about, about honoring our ecosystems, which means you don't delay puberty. You don't block puberty. Puberty is natural. Puberty is necessary to become an adult. Puberty is not a disease. Mm. So you want to, you really want to reach your children early so that by the time they're hearing these messages, you know, sex is assigned at birth. I want children by the time they're four or five years old, when they hear that, I want them to say, wait a minute. No, mm -hmm. that's not, that's not true. My yeah, sex that's, that's really mind. good. There was no doctor that made a decision about whether I'm a boy or a girl. I am a boy or a girl. And that was established at the moment I was created. Thank you so much for watching that clip. If you want to watch the entire thing, go over to mattfrad.locals.com. Locals is like a non-woke Patreon. So if you want to support the work of Pints with Aquinas, you can do that over there, mattfrad.locals.com. And when you do, you get a ton of things in return. You get bonus podcasts. You get bonus episodes of things. You get monthly spiritual direction with Father Gregory Pine. You get monthly audio books. You get our print newspaper sent to your door quarterly, and we even pay for shipping. There's a ton of things you get, um, and you also get the satisfaction of knowing that you're supporting the work of Pints with Aquinas. Mattfrad.locals.com. Thanks. Pay Thursday's salary. Pay Thursday's.